Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is just a quick tip, but honestly, I was real happy to learn it. And there's plenty of people out there that have Samsung washer and dryer stackables, and they could probably use this tip as well. Uh, you're gonna be throwing an error code, and it's gonna be because you got a clog in your filter, and it can't drain the rest of the drum. So you're gonna be stuck in the middle of a load of laundry with it singing you a little song and throwing some sort of an error on the screen. So let's check it out. This is a simple one, but Pay attention, there's a few things you can know, and you can watch me get water all over my floor as well, even though this is the fourth time I've done this. All right, so here's a hot tip for you. If you have a Samsung front-loading washer, it stops in the middle of the cycle, the laundry's still soaking wet, and you're throwing an error code and it won't stop. That is because I guarantee you, you got a sock or something like that down in here. Look at this little door. Please clean the filter once every two months. Well, it's been about four or five for us, and we got four little kids with tiny little socks that like to slip right down in that slot between the gasket and the spinner. So, what I did was obviously turned it off because you still have to pump it out. Otherwise, you're going to have to drain all this water out through this little hose. So, try to go ahead and run just the spin only cycle and get this thing to spin out and drain out all the fluids. Even if it's fighting a sock or a clog in here, it will slowly pump it out. And then, as soon as that's completed, you should have it nice and empty in here and it won't be full of water dumping out and then you can clear this filter. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick here in a second. But we've successfully got the spin cycle running again and you can hear it's pumping out the rest of the water. So I'll wait till this thing's done spinning it out. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is sometimes you'll throw that code and you'll start the spin cycle and it'll throw that code again. And if you try to run that spin cycle more than two more times and it keeps going, then you've just got such a bad clog that you're not going to be able to clear it, uh, which means you are going to have to open this up. See right here, if I can see this little hose here, it clips up in here like this and that is a little discharge thing. So. What you do is you pull that little plug and you drain it out into a flat pan, put the plug back in, empty the pan. Pull it, drain a little more into the pan. It's just like over and over and over again until it's empty. If you have a one of the foundation bases on this, it's much easier because you can just pull this out and drip it down into a Tupperware below. But when it's on the floor like I've got it, you've got to do it slowly into like a flat little pan to make sure you drain it all out, which totally stinks. But hopefully you're able to get it to run the spin only cycle and it can pump all that water out. When there's water in a reservoir, this thing is gonna be submerged, you know? So if you pop this open, it's just gonna come flooding out. Hence the slow drain tube that gives you control. Um, so you can hear it's just trying to get the last of that water spun out and it'll probably do one more pumping cycle. So give me a second um, and we will get it to where it's totally empty and spun out. But I think we're about there. Okay, yeah, it's spinning one more time here and you can hear the pump going now. So it's trying to suck the last of that water out. Again, this is for when it'll stop and it'll like play a little song, but the cycle isn't over. And it says like, there's a five, it's like a five E or something like that, or like S E, um, <clears throat> the five will look like an S or so whatever, but it's like five error or something. But this is a really common thing with Samsung front loaders. And I guess some other front loaders. I wanted to point this out too. You can get this loud knocking noise down here and it's just the bottom of this discharge tube in here. Watch when I lift it up a little. See how that's dead quiet? This happens all the time with these. Uh, you can take anything small, nothing big, but just shim it up enough so it can't knock. It just needs a little help. I'll just jam a little piece of Kleenex in there and you can see how that stops that problem. Um, what I like to use is those felt pads you put on the bottom of chair legs. Otherwise, if your load's even slightly imbalanced while it's up here spinning, you're gonna get this noise all the time, just from this filter housing knocking around. So put something small in there to shim it and lift it off. Okay, it's about drained here and I'm, I, I'm gonna guarantee you there is either a sock in here or like half a dog. 
Okay, spin cycle's almost over. You can hear it pumping the last bit of water that it spun out. We're almost there. The thing about this that stinks is when it throws the error code, you're not really sure if it's like in part of the cycle where there's still soap in it or not. So I usually just end up running another whole rinse and spin cycle after this, just to be sure. But it's done, door unlocked, machine turned off. It's done with that spin only cycle right there. So let's see what's in here. I'm gonna turn it to the left. All right, this is the point where I do what every YouTuber does and I say, why don't you guess in the comments what's in here? So this would be the time. And it's still dumping water everywhere, so we're just gonna put a towel down and catch that. I guess it can't quite pump out the very bottom of that reservoir. I should have remembered this from the last two times I've done it. All right, yeah, you can see there's just still water pouring out of there. So I'm gonna jam this towel under the edge. It should catch the rest. Will you get this thing open? Flat screwdriver. Just give it a little tiny turn and pull it out. All right, let's finish opening it up here. What do we got? Come on, sock. Ooh, a lot of stuff made it in there. Boom. Kid sock every time. That's it. So, clean all the hair that makes its way in there. This one's abnormally hairy. Super nasty. It looks pretty good to me. Stick it back in there. Tighten her up. Make sure that if you use this thing to do any draining, which I could have done there at the end to empty out the bottom of the reservoir, but whatever. It's not that much water. Make sure your plug's back in it. Make sure you hang it back up on its little hook. And shut that door. And you're done. It won't throw the error code again until you let it get nasty clogged or until it sucks another sock in. That's it. Thank you.